Who are you? I am Sam? What's that supposed to mean? Take that! Well, 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 well. 
you talking about? Alrighty, welcome to the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. The way I'm gonna set up this little tips and tricks is I'm gonna separate it by different boss phases. And what I mean by that is the different phase uh, a boss will be in depending on what level their health is at. So let's go ahead and start with the regular degular full green bar. Alright, at full health, you'll have this secret boss starting to walk at you, pace at you, he's gonna teleport here and there, but the two moves you're gonna wanna look out for is the one on the top left, which is this two little electricity balls, I don't know. They're pretty heavy and they do a lot of damage, so just dodge around the perimeter. An easy way to do that is just walk around or high jump as much as you can. Right after he does that, hit him with the gravity spell. P.S. Gravity is super effective against this boss and you're very much gonna need it. Right next to that, we can see him doing the double slash. He does it with what seems to be two lightsabers, pretty badass, but Let's get to it. So this is very simple, it's really just a double slash. All you have to do is high jump or roll around it, and like the last move, hit him with that gravity spell right after he's done activating that. Alright, now time for the second phase. The second phase is going to consist of a half orange, half purplish type of health bar, and he's going to start using two pretty dangerous moves. One move is his double slash has now turned into a multiple slash. One way I recommend of dealing with this move is simply rolling away. I find rolling a lot easier and a lot more successful than uh, gliding. So go ahead and do that and wait for the final slash to go ahead and aim your gravity spell. You are able to stun him after he uses this combo. And right next to that we see one of the moves that I very much hate his shock wave or shock prison type of move. This move's fairly simple, you guys. Just wait until the command bar starts going very, very slow and then hit that button. Uh, another good tip is to do the triangle, the reaction command. Of course, if you use a summon, this won't be available to you. So this boss fight, I recommend without any summons. All right, so now we get to the half yellow, half green area of the health bar. So at this point, this secret boss is gonna start throwing two pretty heavy moves at you. So the first one we can see on the top left is he goes into this spherical energy ball and he starts shooting lasers at you. These lasers can't be blocked. Don't try using arrow, you'll keep losing damage. My best advice is roll, glide away, just get out of there. If you have to, use strike raid. Alrighty, and right next to that, we see he buffed up his laser move. Honestly, my best set of advice for this one is, if he's coming with you with the lasers coming from left to right, then you move right to left. If he goes right to left, then you move left to right. Um, I'm not too sure if you could attack him or stun him right after he uses this. It seems that he uses a move right after this, so be careful on trying to be aggressive when he uses these two moves. Alright, and now for my personal tip, once you get to low green health or just green health in general, spam Strike Raid. It makes you invincible and it does pretty good damage. Before I close out, let me go ahead and talk to you guys about some tips that I didn't mention. Alright, so first things first, every time the phase changes, this secret boss moves faster. His reactions move faster, the way his attacks come out uh, is a lot faster, so beware of that. One thing I also want to mention is you guys do not have to use the kingdom key. It's the most basic and honestly second to the weakest keyblade in the game. So go ahead and use anything with a high aptitude to strength or even magic. 
And if all this just isn't enough, you guys, just go ahead and invest some time into getting those ribbons. Ribbons are a synthesis item, which you could be found um, by going to the Moogle shop or the Moogle synthesis shop. Those help you and those are stackable. Those give you 20% on each defensive uh, stats. Very good, especially if you're getting your ass whooped by this guy constantly. Any more questions, please just go ahead and drop them in the comments. And for more content, keep it subscribed. We're streaming Kingdom Hearts 2 right now. Stay tuned to the channel. See ya.